That's really pretty. got done at the gym my lip doesn't look swollen the upper lip but it feels swollen like it feels like when you go to the dentist and they numb your mouth that's how like underneath my top lip feels and I'm confused I am about to hit the grocery store to get our groceries for the week I just got back from the beach yesterday now I am trying to get my ish together just have to do a bunch of laundry get back into the swing of things you know I have to convince myself that I enjoy grocery shopping to hype myself up to do it. Well, not to hype myself up to do it, but to hype myself up so that I don't have a horrible experience. Because otherwise, I just walk in like annoyed and then it goes downhill from there. I just find the experience of grocery shopping to be generally unpleasant. The people in your way, the people that are impatient, that are like trying to rush you, the small talk with the cashier people, I don't know. It's just generally not my favorite activity. I just got back from the grocery store and I'm gonna make some lunch. Every time before we grocery shop, we both look through the New York Times cooking app. We have a subscription to it and we just see if there's anything new we wanna make or try. I came across a tuna melt. That just sounds so good to me right now. So I'm gonna make it for lunch. the gym and I'm really craving pickled red onion so I'm gonna make them because I don't have any. I'll probably make some avocado toast with pickled red onion and like a soft boiled egg. Let's do it. First step is obviously cut up your onion. I actually have half of an onion left from the tuna melts yesterday so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm like debating if I should use apple cider vinegar or white vinegar or mix. I might do a mix you know. Oh, by the way, this is a quick pickled recipe, so they will be ready in like 30 minutes. Yeehaw! While my red onions are pickling, I thought that we could do a little book talk. 
Like I talked about in the last video, I started this book called Less. That would have been my first book of the year, except I didn't like it. So I returned it after reading like 50 pages. I just didn't love the writing style. I didn't like that it was in third person. I don't know, I can't put my finger on it, but I just didn't vibe with it. Then I picked up Daisy Jones and the Six, and I thought this one was gonna be like a guaranteed like. I thought because it has rave reviews and because I loved The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, I just assumed that I would love Daisy Jones and the Six as well. I read it thinking that it was going to be a really quick read for me and that I was going to be really into it and it was going to be like a page turner and it just wasn't for me. It was okay. I don't know. I don't have that much to say about it. I didn't get super attached to any of the characters. I found Daisy to be kind of insufferable, which I know is the point, but there was no depth to her. Just the general vibe to me was like, and Daisy, she was stunning. It's like, okay, but what else? The whole book is interview style and that read very monotone to me. I will say I've heard a lot of people slash seen a lot of people online say that the audiobook is the better alternative. I would still recommend it, but it's just not like super high up there for me. Then I read Crying in H Mart. This book was almost a five star for me. I, I gave it like a 4.75 on Storygraph, which I'm using more of now than Goodreads because you can give like increment star ratings which i like a lot better because i'm not decisive enough to be like three stars four stars this book is so good i feel like this got me out of my reading slump it is a memoir that kind of recounts the author's childhood memories with her mom and events leading up to her mother's death korean food is like a major theme in this book as you can tell by the title and the cover. Really enjoyed it, not only because of the emotional aspect of it, but also because of like the cultural kind of like learning aspect of it. Highly recommend. I just started this book yesterday. Sorry, I don't know what the hell is beeping. I got this recommendation from Jack Edwards on YouTube. From what I recall, he really enjoyed this book and I just don't really like it. Once again, it's written in third person, like less, which I also didn't like. I read a review on Storygraph this morning just to like make sure that I wasn't alone. Someone explained the writing style as kind of similar to like theatrical direction. I never would have come up with that on my own, but after reading that I was like, yeah. It's very much like this character looked up and then they said blah blah blah. Like it's just very direct and kind of simplistic. And I don't know if that's because this book has been translated from Japanese. English. I'm just not a huge fan. Kind of just excited to get it over with. I'm deciding what book to read next. I checked these books out from the library because I just don't really have the disposable income to just like buy a shit ton of books. It's kind of stressful because you can put books on hold at the library. It might say you're like number 30 in the queue or number 10 in the queue, but there's like multiple copies and it just kind of goes quickly, but other times they don't. So I like to have it stacked to where I'll always have at least one book. Recently, like four books came available at once and I was like, oh my God, overwhelmed. So it's between these two. I think I got this recommendation from Claudia Salewski and I got this recommendation from Jack Edwards. Anyway, thanks for joining my book chat. Let me know what you thought of Daisy Jones and the Six. I know most people really liked it and I just don't know why I didn't. And let me know if any of you have read this that really like it. Also, give me some book recs if you want. Okay, time to eat some avo toast. This doesn't look that appetizing, but it is, I swear. The onions are actually quite pickled and it's only been 35 minutes.